my channel, The Media. I'm Andrew, and this channel will be looking at disruptive companies to unlock exponential gains. All right, returning member, welcome back. Thank you so much for all of your views and support. I really appreciate uh, each and every one of you. And if you are here for the very first time, I encourage you to look at all my other videos and determine whether or not this is the right channel for you. If you are hearing what you like so far, then consider subscribing to the channel. In this channel, in each of my DD, and I'm always looking at these companies to see how they're making their next billions because when they can make their billion, we'll be making our millions on uh, riding on their billion. If you're new to my channel and you're new to OTC Penny Stocks, then consider using my link to open an account with Charles Schwab. That's where, that's the platform that I use to trade penny stocks. And if you use my link, you're supporting my channel and you'll get free money. I also use Webull because they allow you to trade um, before and after market. Also, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, everything in my video is my opinion and it's strictly for educational purposes. Without further ado, let's dig in. Okay, so I know that a lot of people have been making this request, so this whole entire week I'll be making a lot of videos per your request. This time we'll be looking at Anto Mining Corp, trading under ticker SANP. This is a very, very hot penny stock. I think it's, it's very uh, well talked about. And the interesting thing is, although it is a very popular company, a lot of YouTubers are, aren't really covering it. And I can see why. It's, a, it's quite a complicated company to cover because to understand what they're actually trying to do, I had to, um, I was following this video um, from one of their presidents of a subsidiary. Um, I can see why not too many videos on it because the content is a labor intensive and requires a lot of reading. I'll try to make this video in the most, in the clearest way possible. In this video, I will do a brief overview of the company. And then after that, I will tell you exactly why I think it's a billion dollar maker and what piece of news makes me think that this is a winner. And, and consider watching until uh, the end and let me know if you agree with my assessment. Thank you very much. Okay, so Santo Mining Corp at about eight tenths of a penny. It went down about 16.33% today. So if you're going to buy this company, it's a great time to buy when it's red. Looking at the map around February 24th or so, it was up as high as three penny. March 4th down to five tenths of a penny. So that would have been a great time to buy. Now it's back down to eight tenths of a penny. Still a good price considering where they were, where they were a month ago. This is a pink, no information company, dark or defunct. So interestingly enough, it's, it, it is supposed to be a pink, no information, but this company releases so much information. So that is something that I saw that's a positive sign right away. What is Santo Mining Company? So basically, SANP is a company that focuses on the blockchain development of smart digital contracts for everyday life. And the company has its offices of its subsidiary, SciTechnic Technology and Development Joint Stock Company in Ho Chi Minh City. Hello, good morning, Vietnam. Sorry, I had to do that. I have to give a, a shout out to my country of birth. So this is a, essentially a company that provides software for cryptocurrency. So if you are going to expand your portfolio with cryptocurrency, then this is definitely a company to get into because in order for people to feel cryptocurrency aren't going to be stolen and hacked, we need really good software developers and software companies that can, can assure us of this type of security. A pink no information, but they are SEC reporting. In the SK was just reported on March 2nd, 2021. They're very transparent for a pink no information. It's just a, already a rarity in and, in and of itself. What I like about SANP so far is that they acquire companies within the blockchain sector. So whenever you see these companies that are in an emerging market and they're acquiring companies, that means that they're trying to build an ecosystem around them. That's always a winning sign. Having said that, so let me introduce to, to you some of the companies that they have joint ventures with or that they own outright. He is aggressively looking for the next gen technology project to invest or acquire globally. So that N3 technology is a blockchain software development company that they own and their offices is in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. So have another subsidiary called DNA Tags 
and DNA Tags is a joint venture subsidiary between Santo and Infinity Blockchain Labs in Taiwan. And DNA Tags has leveraged blockchain technology, Internet of Things, near field communication to protect against trade of counterfeit products. They're trying to be, you know, a single point contact for everything crypto. So this is definitely, I mean, if you're talking about the future where cryptocurrency, it's going to, a uh, blockchain is going to replace fiat currency, then to be the king because they're, they have the software that facilitates all of that, or at least they're trying to build that ecosystem. But let's get to the news. And I want to share with you some of the news that I love, the news that tells me this is a winning company. I know that the most recent one was February 17, 2021 at Santo Mining. They're pleased to announce that they have filed with the United States Patent and Trademark Office the trademarks for DNA tags and authentication technology focused on the 17 billion anti-counterfeit packaging market under the goods and or service register at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office for DNA tags. You know, patent and trademark, always a good thing when you're in an emerging market. But here is the piece of news I think is, is going to make this company. And here it is. On this day, February 8th, 2021, SANP today announces that DNA tags will be converting its Ethereum Solidity-based smart contract to Cardano going smart contract in the first time that I was reading this, I was like, ah, oh, I don't understand what is so important about this transfer. I didn't understand the enormity of this. And essentially what I found is with the Cardano project and this company, the CEO is Charles Hoskinson. He is the co-founder of Ethereum. And I watched a video on him. It's about, about 45 minutes long. He was trying to explain the concept of cryptocurrency and how there are three phases. The first was Gen 1. That's where Bitcoin was. And they, at that time, they were trying to create a decentralized blockchain maintained by everyone in the world. And so that was Bitcoin. So Bitcoin started out being pennies and then it went eventually went to a dollar and then it went to a hundred dollars. We all know now it's standing at about 56,000 or so. The first gen need, was missing something. And that was when second generations was developed. And that was when Charles Hoskinson and other co-founders got together and built Ethereum. Ethereum, basically what he was saying that the difference between gen one and gen two was the fact that with uh, Bitcoin, you're missing a contract. So a contract wasn't embedded into Bitcoin, meaning I understood what he was saying was what it was missing was basically say you, you have two people and trying to trade something. The first person might say, Hey, I'm not going to give you this unless you, unless you mow the lawn or unless you fix the roof on my house. So Bitcoin did not have that condition embedded into it in first gen. So that contract is built into the second generation. So what the Cardano project, why this is big is that now they realize that what's missing scalability and sustainability and interpolability. Scalability is the ability to need to make it so that everyone can use it to ensure that it is scalable and sustainable. I'm going to go into the specifics of it, but if you guys want me to go into the specifics of the third generation, I think that's another big video. And so just let me know if you guys, if that is what you guys want. Therefore, we also, Huskinson is the man when it comes to cryptocurrency because he was the co-founder of Ethereum. Right now, Ethereum is trading at nearly 1800. The fact that SANP decided to switch their smart contract to the Cardano smart contract, they are already thinking ahead and they're, they're already ahead of the game. Uh, and for that reason, I think that they're going to be big. This is the piece of news that it's going to make me go long on SANP. And this is the piece of news that it's going to make this company billions of dollars. And it's going to make retail investors millions of dollars, or at least early retail investors. I hope that the information that I provided today was helpful. Like I've mentioned before, a lot of people have been panicking in the last couple of months. Uh, this correction is deep and it's very, very long. Unlike the first, the first one that we had a few months ago, but I see this as an opportunity to buy 
these promising companies, these disruptive companies on a major bargain. I mean, SANP was at three cents or so a month ago, and right now it's less than a penny. So we do the math. And in the long run, I, I see this company going to more than a dollar. Uh, comment below and let me know if there's any confusion or anything else that you want me to do or a follow-up on any of the points that I've hit. Then let me know. Again, thank you for all your support and thank you for viewing. Take care and see you soon.